pleasant surprise, Ezio. We should trade stories if I'm not dead by this time tomorrow. Is there a chance of that? We learn that the Byzantines are planning to infiltrate Top Kappa Palace now that Prince Suleiman has returned from his Hajj. If they do strike, it will be tonight at a cultural exposition the Prince has organized. So what is our plan? Kardashim, this is not your fight. No need to snare yourself in the Ottoman affairs. The Byzantines found a key beneath Top Kappa Palace and I would like to know how. Ezio, we want to protect our Shehezade. Not interrogate him. Trust me, Yusuf. Just tell me where to go. Top Kappa's main gate. We plan to dress as entertainers and walk right in. I will find the disguise and meet you there. Minstrels from Italia. I am going to enjoy this. Look ridiculous. I 
I feel ridiculous. My blade is too conspicuous in this outfit. Are you armed? This is a deal. You mark the targets, and we will take them out. You, uh, know how to play that thing? I learned a few chords when I was young. When were you ever young? This courtyard is closed to the public. Turn around and start walking. Perdonate, buon signore. We are this evening's entertainment. Any old Gerzek can carry an instrument around. Get lost. Vierio, Vieri, yes, he You sound like a fame. dying cat. Was just as mad as his old man. <laughs> he what is this? Verbatzen. Proud Romania's iron lady, a rose of tempered steel. <laughs> what are you the doing? Order of a corpse and teach a stone. Ekala, go in and bother the guests with that I noise. I can't believe I stand here and seeing my time I waste. But you who sit and smile at me sincerely have no taste. I'm dressed up like a jester. I act the fool and mime. All the actions of those I curse and run down all the time. Cesare, oh Cesare, a man of great depravity, believed himself immortal till he had a date with gravity. <laughs> To judge a lady's character, not well her company. If you should wish to seem a sage, come spend the night with me. A little respect goes a long way to preserving the peace. We should practice on the next one. Oh, the beauties of Firenze can melt a heart, you'll see. Beware the girls of Roma, lest fire you wish to flee. This courtyard is clear, but I do not see Prince Suleiman. Follow me. No one understands my plight. The life of a musician, singing for impatient men. It's a no condition. Now this is a celebration. Suleiman, the Sultan's grandson and governor of Kefe. And he's only 17. We met on the ship. He told me he was a student. And who is that? His uncle, Shehezade Ahmed, the Sultan's favorite son. He is grooming himself for the Sultanate as we speak. Sherefe, Salon is up. Come, we have more Byzantines to find. Means I hope you are enjoying of key for coins. If you spot me in the street, please kick me in the loins.
wish it to be soon. The things I do to save the world, to try to I hope you are enjoying yourself. Like learning how to play the loot and making these worlds thrive. Young Cesare, I heard him say, not be killed by man. So I tossed him through the air to see where he might land. Suicaccio, Suicaccio! Clear the courtyard! Cesare Suleiman, take cover! Follow them! Ezio! It is a relief to see you again, mio bel menestrello. Did I say that right? Well enough. I hear you are a governor, too. Is there anything you do not do? I do not talk to strangers. I am Suleiman. Ezio Auditore. Shazadem, are you injured? Who is your captain soldier? Tarot Balete. He is away on an errand. Clear this body and send the guests home. Then summon Tariq to the Divan. Bashus Dinesh, as Adem. Tariq Barlete is a captain in the Janissary Corps. The Sultan's elite soldiery. They guard the Sultan, but not his family. Not very well, evidently. Ezio, do you have some time to spare? I would like your opinion on something. I will, once I change out of these rags. Guzel, meet me when you are ready. I have arranged a meeting with my uncle Ahmed and the Janissary captain, Tariq Barlete. The Janissaries are loyal to my grandfather, but they have lately become angry over his choice of the next Sultan. Your uncle? Exactly. The Janissaries prefer my father, Selim. You are in a tough spot. But how do the Byzantines fit into this? I had hoped you might know. Would you be willing to help me find out? 
I am tracking them myself. I can help you, as long as our interests run parallel. I will take what I can get. There is a hatch at the top of that tower which leads to a secret room. Go there, wait, and watch. Heed my nephew, Tarek. Your incompetence borders on treason. And to think that today, your Janissaries were outshone by an Italian loot player. Preposterous. An inexcusable failing, Effendim. I will conduct a full investigation. I will conduct the investigation, Tarek. For reasons that should be obvious. Evet, Shezadem. You have your father's wisdom. And his impatience. Uncle, I am relieved to see you safe. Likewise, Suleiman. Allah emanet Oran. Tariq Bey, a word. What was the purpose of this attack, I wonder? To make me look weak? An ineffective steward of the city? If you are the hand in this mess, Tariq, you have made a grave mistake. My father has chosen me as the next Sultan, not my brother. Ahmed. I am not depraved enough to imagine the conspiracy you accuse me of. What have I done to earn such contempt from the Janissaries? What has my brother done for you that I have not? May I speak freely? You'd better. You are weak, Ahmed. Pensive in times of war and restless in times of peace. You lack passion for the traditions of the Ghazi, yet you speak of fraternity in the company of infidels. You make a decent philosopher, Ahmed. But you will be a poor sultan. You may show yourself out. Quite a family, hmm. Your uncle lacks sway over the men he will soon command. Tariq is a hard man. Proud and capable, but ambitious. And he admires my father greatly. But he failed to secure this palace against the Byzantine invasion. That alone is worth our attention. Precisely. Where should we begin? For now, keep an eye on Tariq and his Janissaries. They spend much of their free time in and around the bazaar. I will start there when I can.
Nowhere to run to, push! <clears throat> Finally, one confront. I was actually just on my way home. of fate have drawn us together. Two Italiani, lost and alone in the Orient. Do you not feel the... magnetismo? I feel many things, Messere. Nausea above all. Is this man bothering you, Sofia? Excuse me, Messere, but the lady and I are... Oh! Oh! Il diavolo in persona! Stay back! Duccio, a pleasure. Run, buona donna! Run for your life! Who was that? Uncane. He was engaged to my sister many years ago. And what happened? His cazzo was engaged to six others. Chiedovenia. So what brings you to these docks? I took a break from my work to retrieve a package. But here they claim the captain's papers are not in order. So I wait. <sighs> que secatura. I could be here all day. Let me see what I can do. I know a few ways to bend the rules. Do you now? See, si. I will meet you back at your shop.
to show me how to do that. You will soon benefit the diet of several crows, I'm sure. Would you prefer being buried or burnt? Salute Ezio, any luck? Mademigella Sofia Sartor, Libraia, Constantinopoli. Oh no, look at the damage. Did they use this to fight off pirates? 
Well, so far, so good. Ah, beautiful, no? This is a print of a map by Martin Waldse Müller. See here? The new lands, described by Messer Amerigo Vespucci. Poor Cristoforo Colombo. History has a strange way of unfolding. What do you make of this body of water here? A new ocean, perhaps. Most of the scholars I know claim the size of the globe has been underestimated. Incredibile. The more we learn about the world, the less we seem to know. Well, you honored your promise. Here is mine fulfilled. If we are correct, this should show you the location of the first book. I must admit, my head is swimming with the prospect of seeing these books. This is knowledge the world has lost, and must have again. Perhaps I could print a few copies to distribute myself. Or a small run of 50 or so, that should be enough. <laughs> Perché ridi? Forgive me. It is a joy to see someone with a passion so personal and noble. It is inspiring. Goodness, where is this coming from? Grazie, Sofia. I will return. My morning mission. Isn't that dangerous?
boys gonna open it.
sürüyorum, sürüyorum. Tuncaklarca taşarak bir bir yandan kardeşimi dinleyin. He's running straight to the barracks! held fire in your hand, old man. It should have been destroyed. Destroy the only thing capable of ending the Crusades and creating true peace? Never. Forgive me for this, Mentor. But the apple corrupted you, and through you it would have corrupted us. For us to live, you had to die. Is it truly over? Is that sorcerer dead? He was no sorcerer, just an ordinary man in command of illusions. Have you prepared the pyre? I have, but... Altair, some of the men will not stand for such a thing. Let me handle it. Are you fit to travel? Well enough. Yes. I asked Malik to ride to Jerusalem with news of Al-Mulim's death. Would you ride to Acre and do the same? Of course. How did it come to this? My mind was clear, but my body, it would not move. It was our mentor the cause of this confusion? I do not believe our What has happened here? Our mentor deceived us all. The Templars corrupted him. Where is your proof? Walk with me, Abbas, and I will explain. And if I find your answers wanting? I will talk until you are satisfied. Do you remember the artifact we recovered from Robert the Saab in Solomon's temple? The artifact you were sent to retrieve, but others delivered? Yes. It is a Templar tool. The Apple of Eden. It 
can conjure illusions and control men's minds. A deadly weapon. And you believe Al Moalim fell under its spell? I do. Today he used the apple to enslave Masyaf. You saw that for yourself. I do not know what I saw. Listen, Abbas. The apple is safe in Al Mulin's study. When I'm finished here, I will show you all I know. know that he cannot return. But this is not our way. To burn a man's body is forbidden. Defiler! Hear me out. This body could be another one of Al-Mulim's phantoms. I must be certain. Lies! All your life, you have made a mockery of our creed. You bend the rules to suit your whims, while belittling and humiliating those around you. Restrain him! Did you not hear him? Al Mualim is bewitched. Ah! Tell you, Altair! Abbas! Stop! What did you think would happen when you murdered our beloved mentor? You loved Al Mulim less than anyone! You blamed him for all your misfortune, even your father's suicide. My father was a hero! This is not the time to quarrel over the past. We must decide what to do with that weapon. Whatever this artifact is capable of, you! are not worthy to wield it! No man is. Oh, is beautiful, is it not? What was that? Are they dead? Forgive me. I did not know. Have you anything to teach us? Or would you lead us all to ruin? Altair, 
Barely 26, and already a Grandmaster in command of a divided order. How does one cope with such responsibility? And unlimited power? I've made the acquaintance of an Ottoman prince named Suleiman. He's a clever young man, with a fortitude uncommon for his age. On his suggestion, I will be investigating some wayward Janissaries who may be in league with the Templars. With luck, they will lead me straight to the core of the Templars' leadership. Meanwhile, the Venetian Sophia Sartor continues to help me find the hidden Maziav keys. She is a diligent woman, full of passion and vigor, and I enjoy her company immensely. But I dare not tell her the purpose of my stay here, nor of my true vocation. Those who do not volunteer in our struggle should not be forced to fight it.